happening now, a hero's welcome home. Phoenix fans cheering for their champs as they return back to the UWGB campus. The men's team beat Wright State last night to clinch a spot in the NCAA tournament. NBC 26's Billy Wagness is in the thick of the excitement and begins tonight's live team coverage. Billy? Yeah, Stacy. people across the region are talking about it. The Green Bay Packers are talking about it. Even Mayor Jim Schmidt was here just moments ago when the Phoenix finally arrived back on campus for their homecoming celebration. Students saying it's good to be a Phoenix right now, and some are even considering with spring break just around the corner whether they'll be able to make it to the first round of the tournament game, that is, if it's close enough. For many students on campus, it's hard to focus on studies today. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Everybody's pretty pumped about it. Students say the Phoenix's big win is having a ripple effect on the university's image. Well, the guys being able to make the tournament is really great for the school in terms of growing the brand power of UWGB. Sophomore Nick Faust says the question on his friends' minds now is whether they'll seize an opportunity to catch the Phoenix live in the coming days. Certainly within my group of friends, I think I could see us making a trip down to Iowa. We're working with an, a large communication staff between the department and the institution and getting as much information out as possible. Mary Ellen Gillespie is director of athletics on campus. She says between now and Sunday, university leaders will be assessing the logistics and cost of transportation for Phoenix fans. If we are going to be able to do buses to a location that's drivable for fans in the community, then we will definitely um, coordinate buses. But no matter no what, students on campus say you can expect plenty of watch parties back home. Now, campus leaders say any information on whether they'll be able to send fan buses, estimated costs, or really anything Phoenix related will be on the Green Bay Phoenix's official website along with the university's official website. Reporting live in Green Bay, Billy Wagness, NBC 26, keeping you connected. Thanks, Billy. We're all wondering where will the UWGB Phoenix team fall in the tournament? NBC26's Charlie Sakaitis continues our live team coverage with the latest bracketology. Stacy, now that the Green Bay Phoenix are officially in the tournament, just where they will be seated is a matter of great intrigue. Some people, yes, some people even here in this very building believe the Phoenix will be a 16 seed, but I reject that notion. I got them as a 15. Now you may ask, Charlie, why does that matter? And here is the answer. No 16 seed has ever beat a one seed in the NCAA tournament. However, seven times, seven times since the field expanded to at least 64 teams, a 15 seed has upset a two seed. And right now ESPN's top bracketologist, Joe Lenardi agrees with me. He has the Phoenix listed as a 15 set to face Xavier in the first round. That is all subject to change based on what happens the next few days. But if Green Bay can stay out of that 16 seed, what I'm saying is there's a chance. We'll hear from the team later in sports, including both coach and a few players. Charlie Sakaitis, NBC 26.